All right, coming up next is the UFC Heavyweight Showdown. Here's the heavyweight wrestler Curtis Razor Blades representing Team Elevation there in Colorado. And here's a guy who, at least on paper, has more takedowns secured offensively than any fighter in UFC heavyweight history. You know, they talk about specialists. And at times, you find a guy that's so good at one skill that you know what's coming and you can't stop it. Curtis Blades is one of those guys. He's a national wrestling champion. He's very big. He's very skilled and he has great cardio. The great cardio allows him to press this wrestling style on guys and they can't keep up with him. He is solely one of the top five heavyweights in the world. And he's certainly got a good work rate for this heavyweight division. Works as hard in training as anybody. Still in search of that elusive first championship opportunity. Big spot for Curtis Razor Blades here tonight. Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling. They start doing jiu-jitsu. They start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills, and he does them all at an A-plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say he doesn't really do anything special, but he does everything at a plus level, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. The American is 29, the Russian is 30. He will have a four inch reach advantage. Now here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler holding a professional record of 17 wins, three losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Chicago, Illinois, Curtis Racer! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 17 wins, one loss. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 260 pounds. Fighting out of Moscow, Russia, Sergey Pavlovich! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, so here we go. Round one is underway, and when we sat down with him on Thursday, he understood the grappling challenge he was up against, but he's not afraid to engage on the ground tonight. It's a danger that is not worth risking. It is something that you don't want to play with. This grappler is that good. When this fight gets to the ground, you enter his world, especially when it looks like you hold the advantage on the feet. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Oh! Now goes in and secures the takedown. Trying to recover full guard there. Oh, pretty good entry there, and he gets the fight to his wheelhouse on the ground. Beautiful takedown into the full guard. Look for him to posture and use ground and pound to open up submission opportunities. Lands a 
strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Curtis Blades. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. And he's back to his feet. Good sign for him there. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Trying to double up on that jab. Blades gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can wrap. How good is that right piece? And just misses with that big right hand. Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always at the chin. The elbows tucked to the ribs. The jab goes out. And potentially a critical takedown here. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a control posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes in your corner. Recovery, man, right back to his feet. 25 total strikes have landed for the heavyweight Curtis Blades. Big punch to the clinic. Missed with that attempt. Big power shot there. Just misses with the jab. Blades gets caught with that punch. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides here. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did and they both found success over the course of that round. Round two is upon us. Your thoughts on round one, champ? Round one was a very close round. Both guys had their moments, but nobody has really went out ahead in the race as we go into the second round. He had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. Ooh, big shot, man. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be over the critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations. Team. Well, the jab has been... He's going to try to take him down. There you go. Oh, how about the slam there? That one cannot feel good. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Great action to get to that takedown. Just over three minutes to go. Ooh, elbow from the bottom. Lands, that had some zip on it. Blades is looking to pass here, denied by the opponent. Oh, good entry there to take the fight to the grappling realm. Now we'll see what he can do from here, champ. This is exactly where he wants to be. Look for him to try to use ground and pound to open up submission opportunities. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, back up again. You can't hold a good man down. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. And as a result, he has taken control of this second round. And there comes the separation now. He loaded up on that right hand, too. His lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Take down, cut. Take down, cut. Over and over. Securing these takedowns. Oh, 
Nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. And now he's got the tie punch. Oh, big punch land. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Whoa! Tonight. I mean, over and over, take down the tip after take down the tip, and the cardio. The cardio to wrestle that much is so impressive because his opponent is getting back to his feet, but he's got this ability to continue to chase takedowns. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment right, to try right. to change the tide of this fight. You've been hit with bigger shots than that, all right? You're going to shake this off. You're going to come back and you're going to... All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now. The adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're trained to do, and it stays this close, you got to really switch it up. Wood Corner was able to relay that message to their fighter better. And oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab. Oh, that's a big hook to the chin. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Nice punch, man. He'll engage in a single call. Man, he has great double leg. My goodness, he has a great double leg. Blades just pass attempt denied. Oh, pretty good entry there, and he gets the fight to his wheelhouse on the ground. Beautiful takedown into the full guard. Look for him to posture and use ground and pound to open up submission opportunities. He lands flush with that right hand. Just out of range with that right hand. And here he is back in familiar territory in the clutch. Oh, nice timely trip there to get the takedown. Oh, he's back up again. You gotta like that. Oh, he's got his back. He needs to try to lift to return him to the mat so then he can try to chase submissions. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Looked like he might have landed. Oh! He's out! He's done! He's done! Water, fire! You knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent. But that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched him. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 49 seconds of the third round. Including the winner by knockout, Sergey! Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I got to think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and candidly knocking another man out quick. Yeah, you shut a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times we hope for the knockout, but he was never hopeful. He was sure that he would get it done, and he did exactly that. Congrats.